When I arrived at the dock, it was very difficult to even see my heart being torn apart. <laughs> the dock was surging and pieces of the dock were just flopping everywhere. It looked like a war zone down here. Mother Nature, she's giving a warning here to people saying, these storms might be getting worse. Never seen so many grown men cry. It's my identity. I think it will change all of us. This is a life for us. It's not our job. It's not the thing we get up in Monday morning and go do. It's something that's, that's been with us for many, many years. We take it to heart. My name's Marvin Farron. I've grown up in South Bristol. I've been a lobsterman my whole life since I was a small kid. On January 10th, the water the water came up here. I get a call from a friend that says, uh, um, Marvin, you better get down here. Your dock's devastated, absolutely devastated. And there was 20 or 30 docks in a small town that, that got ruined. On this dock, I had a 20 by 40 building, and the tide got so high, it lifted that building up and floated it between the two docks. My name is Chuck Plummer. I've been uh, lobstering for 55 years. I think a lot of people were shocked that their insurance policies did not actually cover the wharves. I would think it would take $150,000 to $200,000 to rebuild that building. I have had estimates of $150,000 to fix the dock that was ruined during this. I don't know if I want to take a $300,000 loan at my age. It's a shock to us. I think it's changing us quicker than people want to acknowledge. Maybe it's a hint for a time for me to just say thank you and, and uh, move on. They always say, oh, it's a once in a lifetime event. Uh, it's not true anymore. It does seem like the water is getting higher and there might be some climate change going on. We've experienced a few catastrophic storms really just in the last few months here in Maine. A lot of our work is focused on how climate change is impacting lobsters. Recent research has shown that the waters off of the Gulf of Maine are warming 99% faster than the rest of the world's oceans. As a population, lobsters look for suitable habitat. And over time, that area of suitable habitat has moved northeastward along the eastern coast of the United States. So for Maine, that has meant moving east along the Maine coast. Our work is to understand each part of those changes, whether that be warming, changes in water quality, changes in the ocean's currents, and how those communities can best adapt and respond to those changes. The lobster business itself is under a lot of stress. Several of the people we collaborate with have been really interested in kelp farming. You mean growing kelp? No. <laughs> uh, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to plug away and grind out my living lobster. You really have no choice but to diversify. We specialize and focus in working with fishermen and other marine-based businesses who would like to start diversifying into kelp as a climate change adaptation. Kelp farms can kind of buffer coastlines against winter storms, so prevent some erosion from these high winds that we've been seeing over the last few weeks. These storms actually helped our kelp farmers. They like currents, they like winds. It causes nutrients to start up welling and that it uptakes nitrogen, it uptakes carbon, but it's really just beautiful. So we provide free seed to them and we guarantee we will buy back all of your kelp. And then we process a majority of it into products that we sell in retail stores all over the country. Did you ever expect to be kelp farming? No. No. <laughs> Uh, I've been lobstering for 30 years. It's all I've ever wanted to do. I felt the need I needed to supplement lobstering with another fishery. Yeah, the kelp, it's, it is our chia pet. All the sugar kelp that we grow is all used for food and Atlantic Sea Farms purchases all of the kelp. I think kelp farming brings a little bit of hope. It's one I'm going to explore to keep the dock here and to keep, to keep the fishing going in my family. Mother Nature supplied me a very, it's been very good living for me, so. I, I don't hold resentments. 
love lobsters and hope I can continue it and for many years to come.